Drag Royal Mother Rose King, episode 20. Naging successful yung pagdakas ni uh, ni Henry Tudor sa kambal. He had to dress up as a soldier. Then bigla lang sisigaw. Oh, nakatakas ang mga bata! Nakatakas ang mga bata! So, siyempre, oh, yung mga tunay na sa, yung mga, yung mga tunay na sundalo, ayun, dinukot ulit yung kambal, binalik sa tower. But, um, but I truly believe that that wasn't his objective. His true objective was to spread even more rumors. At the moment na uh, hinuli sila ulit, Sinunubong din, sinunubong din sila ni Richard. Eh, sinabi na lang ni, ni Edward V. Balita ko. Balita ko, Uncle, yung anak mo eh. Hindi sa'yo. Aba eh. Kailangan ko lang bumalik bilang hari. Parang gano'n yung sinasabi niya eh. So, until they, uh, they took him away back to the tower. The rumors spread like wildfire. Pero... At this point pala, hindi pa pala nakukoronahan si Richard. Okay? Hindi pa formal yung pagiging hari niya. Ngayon, medyo uh, unwell siya. Nakalata ni Kate's Vito. So, pinatawag ni Richard si Jane. Yung nakakulong na witch doctor. Pinatawag niya ito. Eh, medyo nahihiya pa siyang ipa-examine kay Jane yung katawan niya. So, Jane did what every medical practitioner did did what every medical practitioner would do here. Okay, sige. Could you, could you draw the curtains? Eventually, lumabas siya doon sa, sa enclosed area. And, sinabi na lang niya kay Richard that, that she is both a man and a woman. I'll explain my reaction, okay? Tapos sinabi na na niya kay Richard, Well, you know, you probably know the rest. Don't you, your highness? So, uh, medyo na-shock si, si Richard. And, um, sinabi na lang ni Jane na, If you need medicine, just, just give me a call. Eventually, humingi nga siya. Pero, tuloy pa rin daw yung coronation. So, she needs to go back to your castle. Kasi nandun yung ceremony at you, uh, during those times yata, kung saan yung, yung home estate ng bagong hari, dun siya, dun siya, dun siya, uh, dun siya kukuronahin. So, it's a long journey. Okay? It's a long journey from York, from London to York. Eh, sinabi ni Buckingham na uh, sa side trip muna siya sa kanila because he's been away from from his own estate for too long. Baka nag-aaral na yung asawa niya. And Richard already considers Buckingham as her man. Diba nga, lalaki na nga niya si Buckingham dito. So, so my trip siya nang hindi alam ni Buckingham. Doon mismo sa castle ni Buckingham. Eh, sinabi na lang ni Buckingham na Tell the Chamberlain that the, that the king is here. Uh, attend to him with proper, uh, attend to him properly. Parang ganun eh. So, yun nga, eventually. Eh, ipiniliwanag talaga ni Buckingham that he is the only ally Richard has in that castle. One night, uh, syempre, nakisiping uli si Buckingham kay Richard. Syempre, nasarapan. Now, bukas mo na si Buckingham to, um, to, get, uh, to get Richard's medicine, supposedly. Pinainom siya, pero nilagyan niya pala ng pampatulog yung, yung nilagyan pa ng pampatulog ni Buckingham yung, yung gamot na ininom ni Richard. Ayun, pass out. So, the next morning, nagising na lang si Richard, damit babae, may kadena na rito. Nagpaliwala si Buckingham. Eventually, your hair, your hair will grow long enough for others to not notice that you're Richard III. Well, 
to summarize what Buckingham said in this episode, sinasabi na lang niya rito, na, o sinabi na lang niya rito na, Richard, magsama na tayo. Ibabahay kita sa ibang kastilyo ko. <laughs> uh, of course, Catesby, the, the loyal bodyguard that he is, ay nakahalata na there's something wrong. Kasi, uh, the, the next morning, wala pa yung kanyang amo. Wala pa yung kanyang, wala pang kanyang hari. So, bumalik siya sa, sa estate ni Buckingham. Talagang nagpumili siya na, hindi. Alright, the king is still here. Well, nakita niya sa isang bintana na, na nakadungaw si, na, 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 nakadungaw talaga si Richard. Well, he has no choice but to storm the estate. Ayun. Eh, pinagpapaliwala lang si Buckingham with a sword in hand. Eh, sinabi na naman ni Richard na, Kate me, stand down. Eh, Siyempre, sunod siya. Pinakalam na ni Richard yung kanyang kadena kay Buckingham. And, uh, they set off for the coronation. Uh, her and Kate me. Eh, tinanong na, tinanong na lang ni Kate me, um, Your Majesty, Ah, oh, pababayan na lang natin si pababayan na lang natin ba si Bakiam na walang parusa, ganun na lang. Well, Richard explained clearly to to Kate's be here na Richard uh Bakiam is my other half. Hmm? I wouldn't I wouldn't have the crown if it weren't for him. He will be there in York. Okay, so no questions asked for no questions asked further na si si Kate's be Final scene. It's a it's an explainer sequence actually. Nabuto natin na well, nagdadabog si Buckingham, right? Then eh, in that scene, tinanong siya ni ni James Tyrrell kung nagdecide na siya. Well, Buckingham said this proverbially. James Tyrrell killed Richard III. Patreon, Bigo, mga ka lifestyle. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We are going to ex we are going to deep dive into that episode. Critic some stuff, starting right now. Face again. The so the Shakespearean feels was there yeah. uh, with the um with the flowery uh with the flowery script. Typical Shakespearean. Cha yung uh, yung pagkakapasok ng mga explainer sequences as to explain as to um as to make us understand why uh, why this this particular sequence is going on oh ito ito ganito yung nangyari right before ganyan ganito yung nangyari uh, well the final scene is actually an explainer sequence so uh, that explains uh, why well, basically, why Buckingham wants Richard dead now? Pero merong slow and excruciating touch to the pacing. Do I have complaints, guys? Absolutely not! Flow naman! First gear shift here was... Was the time nung... Uh, nung, nung nabawi ng mga sudalo yung kambal. That's a no-brainer of a gearship, folks. Bakit? Kasi, kung kailang medyo nagda-die down na yung mga chismis tungkol uh, sa prinsipe, kay Prince Edward, and of course, yung uh, hindi naman ganun agrabe yung pagka-stress out ni Richard, pero yung pagka uh, uh, pagka-aputak ni uh, ni Edward the Fifth talagang uh, it added fuel to the fire talagang hindi na with that talagang lumakas pa yung yung ugong ugong na uh, well Prince Edward is not King Richard's son second gear shift was of course nung binartulina ni Buckingham si Richard against her will no brain of a gearship there. Bakit? Kasi, well, hindi na mapigilan ni Bakiyam yung kanyang carnal desires. Yeah, we can say that now. Dito nag-umpisa, um, yeah, 
sama ng loob ni Buckingham. And what? Which now leads us to the final gearship, which is the final scene. Ayun nga, pinapapatay na niya si Richard kay, kay, James, kay James Tyrell. That's a no-brainer of gearship, folks. Because, all right, amongst the three gearships that I saw, the final two will definitely play a role in the final four episodes of this anime. Plot-wise, <clears throat> I only saw a bunch of explainer sequences here. So, malinis pa rin ang plot. Patreon, Vigo, mga ka-lifestyle. Plain and simple. No backstories, no side stories. And it's, and it's the episode that will set off the road to the finale. Episode 20. Kasi 24 episodes yan to eh. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Five episodes. Final five episodes na. So, you need to condition the minds of the viewers that this is the road this anime is going to take. Buckingham has decided to revolt against the current king. The king, he, um, he tirelessly uh, helped, helped put there because he is the new kingmaker. I never thought Buckingham would do it this way. Yung talagang ipatutumba niya si Richard just like that. Just because hindi siya pinagbigyan sa gusto niya. So, pace, flow, and plot? Hindi na na. We all came together for this episode, folks. So, Requiem of the Rose King Episode 20 No Brainer I'm beginning to hate Buckingham now. <laughs> I'm beginning to hate Buckingham now. And Henry Tudor suddenly became a became a no factor here. He suddenly became a no factor here. Talagang bigla bigla. Oh, the real villain. The real villain is actually Buckingham. So, wow. Uh, if there's anything to look forward to in the final four episodes, it's this, guys. Buckingham will scheme uh, Richard off the crown. Because hindi siya pinagbigyan na, na hindi siya pinagbigyan ni Richard na gawin siya ano eh, na gawin niyang, gawin na lang niyang kabit ito. Para magsama na sila habang buhay. And to think na, well, according to Jane's findings na Richard is both man and woman. Well, isa lang, isa lang ang ibig sabihin sa akin nun. Being, being a paramedical science graduate. Aba, hermaphrodite ang bida. Hermaphrodite. Both male and female daw eh. Grabe. But anyway, again, let's not get ahead of ourselves. The final four episodes are still to be still to be aired. Tumutok na lang tayo, guys. Alright? Tutok pa more. So again, Requiem of the Rose King, episode 20. Two thumbs up. Another two thumbs up for this anime manga lifestyle. Wow. That was a, that's a long streak, alright? So if, it, if this continues, perfect record ito. So Patreon, Vigo, wait for my next upload regarding this anime. And for those of you who are still stuck with the CHD, tapag tisan yun. Well, I'll just watch you chill again, guys. Enjoy this review, and I'll see you in the next one.